Welcome back on the channel guys, it is the 4th of April, the time that I'm shooting this video, so I will call it the Samsung Massive, Massive Stock Application April Update Fist. Probably the longest video type level. But just take a look here, we have an update for Samsung Calendar, an update for Samsung Files, new version for secure Wi-Fi, new Samsung Notes, new Samsung Global Goals, new Quick Measures and also Samsung TTS which is stack to speech. Last one is not part of this, right, so let's focus on all the new things here and whatever we can test we will do so. Starting first with the Samsung Calendar, let's check what is new, show events of the previous or next day by swiping left or right of the event pop up on tablet, right, so this is a new change but probably only working on tablets. A function to support dark mode when there is a full screen alert, right? This I think a welcome change. New version also of Samsung My Files. A lot of people that I know that do have Samsung phones use the stock file manager. Okay, so what is the new things here? Updates provides unused app menu to check that have not been used for 30 days. Provides sorting menu directly at the top of the list. All right, this we can test for sure. So there will be a new menu that will show you all of the applications you're not using recently, perhaps of course with the idea to simply uninstall them and free up some space. All right, new version of secure Wi-Fi. I did a review a while ago what exactly the secure Wi-Fi service is. In a nutshell, secure Wi-Fi is a security service provided by Samsung out there to the Samsung users, smartphone users, that can secure all their traffic. The idea is while you're enjoying your coffee somewhere out in the public, connected to a public Wi-Fi, the traffic that you still do with your phone is encrypted if you use the secure Wi-Fi. There is something free included and of course you can also subscribe, so it's subscription based and yeah, there is a new update. So what is new? Improved convenience, modified the text for trusted Wi-Fi networks, added a search function within protected apps and added widgets, improved features, added allow access to user data feature. We're gonna do a short review after I've installed everything. Let's check the new things inside Samsung Notes. S Pen to text, right? So if you are a Note user, of course you have the S Pen or you're lucky and you have the S21 Ultra, you can enter text using the S Pen rather than the keyboard. All right, and there is also the auto tag. Remembers the words that are frequently used in Notes as tags and help you find them quickly through a search. It sounds really, really very handy. Next, we have the Samsung Global Goals. It's something I wanted to use and test for a while, but I still have to do that one. Okay, what is new here? Updated first run experience, donation timeline added, credit card payment added. Samsung Global Goals presents you with the option while charging your phone to help other people joining their clothes and etc. But the disclaimer I want to make is that I still want to test it so that I will have the full information. Right, but new version here. Last but not least, guys, quick measure. So quick measure is actually used for you to measure with the help of the augmented reality, some surfaces and etc. So what is new here, improve spatial analysis performance. So all of that guys, all of that I'm going to update right now by hitting the update all button. And then we are trying to look at the new changes from Samsung My Files and from secure Wi-Fi. Everything now updated, let's first start with My Files. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. And I'm gonna check my files. All right, let's try to see what the new things are. I'm gonna click here on the three dots. Recent files, analyze storage. Okay, let's click on analyze storage, right? We have internal storage. We have all the images, videos, and etc. And I'm actually right now looking for these unused apps. Oh, here it is, guys. Unused applications. You see, eight gigabytes. So I'm able right now to click here and check all of those apps that I'm not using recently, which pretty much means that I can get rid of them. And if I select all of them, I'm going to save almost nine gigabytes. What is extremely funny is that a lot of these applications are actually mobile games installed by my biggest son. All right, I think I'm gonna have to have a word with him, right? Nine gigabytes of games, 99 applications, right? In case you want to go and check your other large files, you can go here at the bottom and you can see large files. I wanna do one more check to see if there is something else that I might have missed. I'm going into the settings. Okay, going to about my files. Okay, the latest version is installed. Let's check right now the secure Wi-Fi. Now, I told you about a secure Wi-Fi. It is a security service provided by Samsung, but how can you access it? Very easy, guys. Just go to your settings, okay? Scroll down to biometrics and security and try to look for secure Wi-Fi. 
get extra privacy protection while using unsecured Wi-Fi networks. As I told you, the use case is you are having your coffee somewhere outside in the public connected to a not verified public connection, all right? Secure Wi-Fi, welcome to Secure Wi-Fi, okay? You need to accept the terms. Let's press and start, okay? And I told you guys, there is a free protection plan that is actually allowing you to use 250 megabytes free per month, which is actually not that bad, right? And of course, if you wanna go and use more, you need to upgrade. Samsung are offering one month free trial, one month unlimited cost actually only two euro, right? And you can subscribe. If you wanna buy additional protection, 24 hours unlimited connection will cost you only one euro. So if you're outside and you're afraid of your traffic and you're connected to some unknown or suspicious public networks, this is the way to go. But let's try to find new things. In the changelog, there was the idea of widgets. So let's just see if there are any widgets from security. I'm just gonna go here and search for secure, okay? Secure Wi-Fi, all right. Secure Wi-Fi, okay, one by one, or you can have it like a big widget. Let's try to add that one, okay? Right now, I have a widget, and I can just see how many of this traffic I have already used. So certainly a new, new thing. Guys, I really hope that you enjoy videos like this. If this is the case, subscribe to my channel. This will be really greatly appreciated. If you have any questions or any tips or suggestions, you can contact me on my Telegram channel, or just hit me here down below in the comments. Please, you and your families, guys, stay safe. And we're going to catch up in one of the next videos. With that said, BST over and bye.